In this video, I'm going to talk about multilingual functionality within Microsoft Edge. Now, I'm in uh, one of the websites, Microsoft.com, and here I can see this website is uh, rendered in an English language. Now, how does this website come to know that we need to render this in English language? Is one is like uh, there is a setting within Microsoft Edge which tells uh, Microsoft Edge to render the content in a specific language. Now, how to navigate to that settings is like you need to first click on this three dots over here and click on settings. Okay, so once you click on settings, uh, it will take you to the settings page in the back end. Okay, now here, what you can do, you can just type language. Okay. So once you type language over here, uh, you will be uh, uh, given a set of preferred languages. Now, if you see here, this particular section, it has a preferred language of English, okay? Uh, then there is an Arabic, then there is French, then English, UK, Hindi, English, Spanish, okay? Now, you can add various languages over here, okay? So, if I want to add another language, say, if I add, say, Africans, okay, I can add it over here. Okay, then it will be added uh, in the, into the bottom of the list. If I add another language, then say maybe uh, let me add Dutch, Netherlands. Okay, now this is added into the bottom of the list. Now, take for example, if I want to uh, render all my content in French, okay, so then what I can do, I can just select on this three dot and say move to the top. So what it does, it, it will move French to the top okay so if i click on move to the top then french has gone to top similarly i can put say spanish onto the top okay now what i'll do i'll make arabic as the top language so if i click on arabic and if i click on move to the top then arabic would be my first language uh, for the website to appear in the first language now uh, just in another example now this is a youtube video okay now this youtube video is currently rendered in english Okay, this is a simple YouTube video. Now I have made the language as Arabic. Okay, now we'll see these two examples. One is this Microsoft website and second is this YouTube video. So if I just again refresh the YouTube video, uh, then you might be uh, seeing this uh, in a different, uh, uh, earlier it was left to right, now it is right to left. Uh, so. What does this indicate is that this is now taking the preference of the browser language. Now everything has turned into, most of the things have turned into Arabic, okay? Even if you see this control, you know, it, it all renders the tooltip in Arabic. So what it has done, it has taken the language preference of the browser, okay? Similarly, you can navigate to any other site uh, and then uh, you can check whether that language preferences uh, loaded or not uh, so now for some of the website like if it is uh, currently in English then it will be in English you know uh, now what other organization does is like they have a separate page rendered for different languages so now if you see here this is specifically for an English language E and AU and that's the reason it is showing you all the text in uh, basically in English okay uh, now, uh, just one example. Now, whether the translation is correct or not, what we can do is like we can go into one example. Okay, so this is Lamon. Okay, so this is a uh, like a uh, like a website from France. Okay, uh, now there are two things over here on the top: English and French. Okay, so the one website is in English, and if we click here, then the other website would be in France, French. Uh, now, uh, uh, let let me do one thing. Let me go into the settings. Uh, and uh, make uh, this as French okay so uh, now I can see that now Arabic is the top language okay and French is also one of the language within my preference but how do I change that okay so if I want to see say any website so take for example this website Mac website now if I want to see this website in French what I'm gonna do is I'm just doing do a right click and say translate to French okay now the french was the first language if you see over here uh, in the list and that's why it is uh, now currently translating to french now if you want to change it to any other language just click over here when it says translated and you can translate to various languages the top uh, bar 
uh, over here will be all your preferred language and these are the other languages which you can select from the list okay so if i want to change this to albanian okay and i can click on i'll click on translate and then this will be uh, in albanian okay so this is how you basically translate but remember one thing that if you navigate to any other page then it will again default back to uh, the first language okay so it will not be in albanian anymore and then what you need to do is you need to again do a right click and say translate to uh, albanian okay so this is uh, say reverted back to the old language and then uh, if it's an image you can't do a right click uh, it needs to be some sort of a text so if i click on text specs then then i'll just do a right click and say translate to albanian and then it should uh, convert all this language into albanian okay so this is about how to do a conversion now uh, just to give an example now this is a french uh, website so the one is in english and one is in french okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate this uh, okay and i'll pick two pages okay so one is an english website so if you see lemon.fr slash en and here it's uh second one if i go to french site it's lemon.fr okay so two same sites but i'm going to open some some page okay so if i go into news and maybe pick up science okay and here in science uh, i'll pick up uh, coco mystery of how coco spread across south america okay so this is one of the article now here same thing i'll try to find that in french sciences and and this one okay now i have two websites one in french one in english okay i haven't done any conversion over here this is just by default the different conversion provided by the provider now what i'm going to do this is an um, this is basically a uh, english site and this is a french site so maybe i'll do a split screen with the english site okay so now these are two different web pages websites uh, rendering the content okay now one is in French one is in English now what if I do uh, if I just right click on the English site and try to say translate to not Albanian but I'll change it to French okay let it translate to Albanian first then I'll say translate to French now what I've done on the right hand side is I've actually translated the English content into French now if you compare one by one if you see this one de la diffusion and here de la propagation so the conversion is not one is to one so whenever you do a conversion you need to be very careful and understand that the conversion will not sometimes uh, uh, be very perfect okay so if you want to have a perfect uh, conversion then you need to make your own language uh, uh, tokens and then render that in the website now, if you scroll down to this website, you will see a lot of, I've not said discrepancy, but then this is just like uh, a machine has translated and on the left hand side, like some human has actually translated the content and that's why it looks, it will look very different. So that's one thing to uh, make note of. Now, uh, I have uh, another, say, Power Pages site. Okay, now in Power Pages site, uh, again, it's, uh, there are multiple features whereby we can uh, render the site in different uh, languages now uh, i have two languages english and hindi now if you see over here this particular grid loads in english okay and it will display all the content now if i go here and if i click on hindi india over here then uh, it will render the content in hindi but if you see only the schema or the header is converted into hindi and uh, the dates are converted in hindi but not the other content okay now if i want to convert that so i'll navigate to english then what i can do again make use of this browser functionality i'll just do a right click and then translate to not to french but uh, that was the first option which was available to me what i'm going to do i'll say translate to uh, Hindi okay and then the moment I do that then it will actually convert every text which it finds in English into Hindi okay so this is the difference so this is just I just want to uh, give you uh, information that you 
still can do that not only for your external site but then for your internal site as well so that's it for this is how you basically use microsoft edge language functionality thanks for